Good morning, good morning. It's Michelle from Monkey's Creations coming in. Let me just find you. There you are. We are early today, y'all. So everybody say hi. Good morning, Fonda. And Dawn. So comments are coming up. So we are going to do an all black and white skull wreath with that amazing Senna using the small unique in the creek board and this black and white so this is um, a D stash kit um, there are eight available on my website. You get the small unique in the creek board, you get your bag of zip ties, you get the skull senna, and you get the black and white. This is the horizontal white stripe. Um, and I love those together. I love a good black and white wreath, y'all. So there's only eight of those. So if you want it, jump on it, go grab them. I'm also gonna do a little twist on this one. If y'all have seen these flower pots um, on Craft Outlet, they are amazing. So you can do the black and white dot with the green stem. It would go like that. Or the white stem. Or you could do the all black with the white. So, y'all let me know which one you like better, which one I should use. Um, now, the white, I'm not going to use the green, so the white is not an option. But should I use the all black or the black and white? Polka dots. Good morning, everybody. But while y'all are thinking about that, let me bring you down and go ahead and start this flower. So, I am using Stay Monochromatic. I think so too. I was I was going with the I was siding with the black and white. Oh, see, somebody says all black. So, we'll see. Um, so I am using the small unique in the creek board. Now, we are only using row 3 and 4 cuz I want to just keep it kind of small. Um, we could definitely use the outside row, use the whole roll of the black and white. Um, but I want to keep it small. So if I go to the outside, it's going to be bigger, right? Um, so if you want the big one, if you get this kit and you want a bigger all black and white, use the outside holes, y'all. So you would use one, two, three, and row four, okay? Um... So, I am, I did wood burn this. It is 10 by 10. So, we are doing curl up diamond shape. Bring both of your edges to the middle. And then pinch that middle. And then bring your sides in. Just like that. Flip it over. Now you could leave a big petal like that. I want mine a little more narrow. So you can see, I'm just gonna kind of pull it. Try to line up both of our edges. Grab it. You like the all black. And then we're just gonna band it just like that. And that's the petal we're going to use for this. Okay. So. We are going to do the regular sets of holes on row three. And then I'm going to come back in. 
and do the shared holes, but I want it kind of sitting on top of it, okay? Um, so that's the reason I do it this way. So let's go ahead and get our regular holes going. And I'm just kind of pulling on those petals. You like the polka dot, the black and white? And if y'all could float my boat, I would appreciate it. So we're going to need 40, 24 petals doing it like this. Lift this one up, tuck this one under to keep our pattern. So that one is done. Thank you for floating my boat. I appreciate it. All right. Now we're gonna go back and load. Now if you wanna load all of them at the same time, ooh, you can. Sometimes I just find it easier to load them separately. Then you're not fighting with all of the zip ties. You help grow my flowers, I appreciate it. Good morning. Did y'all have an awesome weekend? Tomorrow is the 4th. But y'all, fireworks have been going off all weekend. <laughs> and I mean big bangs. Like it usually doesn't even bother my cat, but even my cat looked up at me like, what was that? But she went right back to sleep. <laughs> I don't think anything bothers that cat, except Monkey. She doesn't care for Monk. <laughs> Poor kid, and he tries to be her friend. Y'all are quiet this morning. Did you not have your coffee? So we'll go ahead and close these up. Do you have one going the wrong way? I don't think so. Not that I can tell. So I'll show you that petal again. So 10 by 10, this one's going curl side up, diamond shape, bring your top and bottoms to the middle. And I'm just gonna pinch, grab that edge, pinch, Grab this edge, pinch, flip it, stretch it, stretch it, and band it. Good morning. You drinking your coffee now? You just ordered one, yay. So there it is, that's our petal. No, I have them all going the right way. Okay, so now we're just gonna stick this one right on top. So see how it, it gives it a little more lift, um, a little more 3D effect, I guess, than if I had just lined them up. Good morning. Drinking your protein shake. I need to start doing that again. I need to start doing a lot of things again, actually. <laughs> Y'all 
your comments. I see you, dear friend. But see how big this flower is already going to be, about 20 inches. So if we had gone to that outside row, it would have been about like that. So it would have been about 22 and a half inches. Thanks for floating my boat. I'm loving Tennessee. I used to live in Smyrna. I went to high school, my sophomore, junior, and senior year of high school here. So I am not new to Tennessee. You tried to order again. You're in Canada, aren't you, girl? Yeah, my website will not allow you to check out from Canada just because it does not calculate shipping correctly. So if any of my Canadian friends ever want to order from me, um, you have to just shoot me a message and I'll invoice you. So I'm just going right underneath, bringing it up just a little bit. Let's go ahead and cut these off. And then we're going to do the same thing to the middle. We're going to load those first four and then fill in the, um, you know, I got a, I got a new shirt, but I think it's a little big. You worked in Smyrna for years, raised in, raised in Hermitage. Ah, awesome. Just catching you. Hello, neighbor. Where are you from? Awesome, Linda. So 10 by 10. Curl side up, diamond shape. Bring your top and bottom to the middle. Now, if you want to do the regular sunflower petal, you can. Um, totally up to you. Pinch in that middle. Just bring your sides in. And I'm stretching it, elongating it, because I don't want that fat, fat petal like the regular sunflower. And then you can band it. I am just going to put this one right in. Good morning. Wide stripe, horizontal wide stripe, cut at 10 inches. And the flower and the skull, the skull center, are um, kits on my website if you want to get the kit. There were only eight when I started. I'm de stashing in kits, you know, things that I have a lot of. Now, normally I wouldn't do make a D stash kit live but I really wanted to play with this um, flower pot you just moved to Nashville awesome okay let's get these cut off Now, if you just want to do those four, that's fine. That's all you need. But I am going to do the four additional. Hello from Mississippi. But you really actually don't need to do these four, but I've already got them cut and prepped. So, we're just going to do them. Ashland City to Portland. Where's Portland? OK, 
Okay, 10 by 10 diamond shape, top, bottom to the middle, pinch, 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 flip, stretch, bring over, stretch, put it right in the board. So I posted something yesterday. So I am working with J. Marie Design. She's going to design some t-shirts for me so that I can put them on my YouTube channel. So if y'all wouldn't mind, go find my post from yesterday and write down what kind of sayings, what kind of like stupid, silly things come out of my mouth that I don't even realize comes out of my mouth um, that I can put on a t-shirt, y'all. get caught up today shipping the prizes from the marathon weekend um, shipping the uh, wood burner so I'm getting caught up on all of that today I've spent the weekend still organizing this room y'all that is so your Senna's come with a cable mount already just grab your pipe cleaner a zip tie whatever you want to use you like the black and white flower pot I was just south of Houston. I was in League City. And then the small boards um, come with the two holes in the middle, and that's where we'll feed our pipe cleaner. Good morning, good morning. in there. Okay. Let me find the top of my board. All right, this is the top of my board. So I'm just going to snug that in there. Good morning. I am early, early this morning. So we'll just twist that up. Once I make sure everything's what I want it and I don't have to remove this Senna, I will cut that down, feed it right back in that hole. But, y'all, let's add. Hello, hello. Let me grab another zip tie. I am added to bed. I was up at 5.30 this morning. So, you can get these flower pots from Unique in the Creek. Or you can get them from Craft Outlet. They are collaborating. Um, so, do we want the black and white polka dot? Or do we want the all black? Y'all decide. So, these boards come with two holes. So, you'll just feed your zip tie right through there. So I'm just going to run it right under my board, right there. And I'm 
going to bring it through the back. If you want, you can put this on while you're building your sunflower. So if you want it, the, the white side is green. Um, so if you're doing your typical sunflowers, roses, those kinds of things, you can use the green. I am not. So that's why I'm using the white. I find my cotton. We'll just clip that off. Good morning, good morning. For oh, y'all. Y'all can't make up your minds either. Fluff that back up. And then all we have to do is decide you are late to the party. Oh, a snowman hat. Yes, it would. See? The ideas we come up with when we collaborate, y'all. You never know what you're going to do that's sparking somebody else to come up with something new. So, do we like the black? Yeah, I did move to Tennessee. I've been here over a month now. Or the polka dot. Because now we're going to glue it. Black, black, black. Most people are just saying black. Yeah, it can be painted. Absolutely. Oh, I could have added skulls. I didn't think about that. Oh, where are my skulls? I know I did bring my Halloween wreath stuff, but I wonder if I put the skulls in my Halloween home decor. We could always, here's another option. Oh, what do y'all think about that? Unique in the Creek has damask ribbon, y'all. Or does that kind of make it too fancy? What do y'all think about that one? Does it make it too fancy? Halloween ribbon is in the other room. I'm trying to see what else we could use. See, I didn't even think about this. We could use a white glitter. Too fancy? Yeah, I think so too. But it's amazing ribbon. <laughs> we could just do a white glitter ribbon. Oh. Oh look, that, that, that would be perfect. What do y'all think about that? I don't want orange. I'm doing monochromatic. So I want it all black and white. I know that one was kind of meant to be, wasn't it? Or we could 
can just do plain white, no glitter. And then if I can find my skulls, I can glue some skulls to it. Use the white and add a skull. Exactly. Exactly. That's what I'm thinking. But let's go with the, um, the plain white. Now I do not have my glue gun on, um, so I'll just use, we'll just leave it like that for now. But let's get Lord, y'all know I gotta be OCD. So let's how wide is this? So it's ten inches. The band is eight inches. So I need it at four inches. Right? Am I right? <laughs> I don't want purple. I want all monochromatic, all black and white. So I'm just adding Gorilla Gel Glue. Got it lined up at the four. You bring it up just a little bit so I can line it up at the three to make sure it's straight. Yeah, I know. And then let's just hold that. <laughs> Whose brain hurts? <laughs> Mine hurts too. And then we have a little bit of play time. If we need to. Now if you want to make the it a shorter stem, then just move your pot up. Okay. You're new here from Delaware. Well, welcome, Patty. I am Michelle from Monkey's Creations, so if you have any questions, just let me know. I should have plugged in my glue gun, y'all. That way I get the fast adhesion until that glue sets up. Glue came up just a little bit past my pot. So I'm just going to scrape that off. There we go. Um, that is, I use Gorilla Gel Glue. That's what I use. Gorilla Gel Glue. Hi, hi. That's what I use to attach my cable mounts to the Senna's and all kinds of things. So let me see if I'm going to, let me clip this. 
so I can hold it up. All right, let me bring y'all up and then I will look for my skull gel. Oh, look how cool that is. Now, like I said, if you don't want a longer stem, just move the pot up. So there's what it looks like from the back. So you have this much room that you could move it up if you don't like the big stem. Isn't that cool? You have a problem using your E6000 open once. Does it come with... Yeah, you, you have to be, that E6000 is, is hard. I use, um, it's because I have some as well that I use for bigger projects. Um, so it does tend to be hard to open. Um, I just use my needle nose and twist it open. Cute, right? So the flower is a D stash kit. Um, it does come with a six inch skull center. The pot is not included in that kit. Um, but I just wanted to play with the pot because I've never played with the pot. <laughs> so, how was your weekend? I had an awesome weekend. It was nice and quiet. Um, everybody starts coming back tomorrow. Taylor will be back tomorrow night. Um, and then Monk um, will be back Thursday night, I believe. So then the, the havoc starts all over. So I'm enjoying the peace and quiet. But me and Mom had an awesome time. We've gone out to lunch a couple days. We've gone shopping. Um, so just spending time together, just her and I, has been fun. Um, so, and then just getting my room together. Um, it's just, once I get it all together, I will show y'all everything. But it's, it's become an organizational nightmare. Um, but it'd be just because I have to use every square inch, right? The whole, most of the room is windows. So I have really just this wall from the window to there. And then the same thing on the other side because the windows start there. Um, so I only have really two small walls um, to actually be able to drill into the wall, like to hold my racks up and those kinds of things. Um, so that's, it's an organizational nightmare. I'm using every square inch, even under my table um, is storage, just because I have to, I just have to. But it's funny because I normally, you know, at the, the other house, I had two rooms, plus I had the, the hallway, I had the kitchen. So I'm really, really, really trying to keep everything in this one room and not overtake the house. So that's my goal and that's my dilemma is making sure I can get everything in here and functionable. So anyway, um, yes, this one is a D-stash kit. So there were only eight when I started. Um, so things that I have tons of multiples for, um, I'm de-stashing as kits um, just to get rid of the bulk of things that I have. So, who is Taylor? Taylor's my daughter. Taylor is um, Monk's mom. Yeah. So, she will be back tomorrow. All right, y'all. I am out of here. Um... VIP, we will see you tonight for chit chat. So if you have any questions, make sure you go post your questions in the feed. And there is our flower one last time. Look how cool that is. Can y'all see that? All of it. So we'll let that flower pot sit. I'm gonna look for some skulls and see if, or some skull ribbon and see if I can, um, <gasps> 
I do have skull ribbon, but it's in the other room because I got it for my outdoor decorations since I I need some outdoor decor. Um, no, the kit is not on Etsy. The kits um, will stay on my website, monkeyscreations.com. Um, and then centers are listed in both places, on Etsy and on my website. I've got more to list on both sites. Um, so kits will always stay on my website. That's just because people are used to going to my website for the kits, and I don't want to change that. Um, so I still want everything to pretty much stay as normal, but just give y'all a different option if you, you prefer Etsy over a website. So, all right. She had a thought. I did, but it's in the other room. So, anyway. All right, I'm out of here. VIP, we will see you tonight. Um, the rest of y'all, I may see y'all tomorrow. Bye, y'all.